Hi you guys, welcome back to another first impression video. This is the video series where I take a look at an entire sewing pattern collection and just kind of talk you guys through my initial thoughts. Um, this collection is going to be the new Vogue collection. I think we're in summer now. I It's really hard to keep up between the early season and then the actual season, but I think this is either summer or early summer. I don't know. Either way, we're going to take a look at the entire new Vogue collection. We're going to look at um, just kind of like the overall design, take it all in. I'm going to point out any fit issues I see, anything. I'm going to point out any fit issues I see, anything that kind of jumps out at me where, you know, if I think you should look out for it when you're making your own version, I'll point that out. Talk about fabrics, you know, all that good stuff. It's just a really fun time hanging out looking at patterns together. So we're going to jump right in with this Vogue um, Diane Baum Furstenberg reproduction. Yeah, um, this is the second one of these, I think. I think. Um, and from what I can also tell, these are only available online on their website. They're not available in Joanne, I don't think. Oh, um, so, but correct me if I'm wrong there. But this is a front wrap dress, um, 1970s stretchable knits only front wrap dress, three inches below mid knee or evening length with skirt gathered to fitted bodice, neckline bands, attached tie ends, side seam pockets, sleeveless or short sleeves with mock sleeve band. Okay, and then we have PDF or the paper pattern and sizing is six to 14 and then 16 to 24. I was just in Target the other day looking at the collection they released um, for Diane von Furstenberg and kind of checking out the fabrication and just kind of like the finishes that they did. It was okay. We could certainly replicate something very similar to what they had in Target and Target was charging 50 bucks. So I don't know, something that you can get to fit you perfectly that matches your style perfectly in a fabric that you love perfectly. You know, I think 25 bucks for a pattern is kind of a stretch, but iconic, lasts forever, looks great on everybody. I don't know. I'm kind of into it. Um, but yeah, so we have this mock, it said mock wrap, right? Hold on, let me go back. Um, fitted neck bands, front wrapped dress. Maybe it's not mock. What was mocked? Oh, the mock sleeve. Okay, gotcha. So not a mock dress. A wrap dress is a true wrap dress. The difference between this one and the one that they released a couple months ago is the other one had a little collar and this one has a gathered skirt. But other than that, I think they're kind of the same. I'm kind of wondering, could you just get the other one and then sort of have both? I don't know. I'd have to compare them side by side. But um, this is the version that they made up. Whoa, really, really small on the arm side here. Like really small. That needs to be dropped down to about here. You should have two inches between your armpit and, not two inches, you should be able to put two fingers between your armpit and the top of the finished seam. So really, really tight there. That would be uncomfortable for most people. And I'm sure when she puts her arm down, this is strange. Um, but this one does have a little band. That does make it a little bit easier to sew. Then having to um turn it under i wonder if there's elastic in there we have a lot of questions okay so even the sleeved version has this really really short arm side which is why we're getting all of this pulling through here it's easy to fix don't be alarmed but that is probably definitely something that needs to be addressed whenever you go make your own version everything else about it looks pretty good i think they're just using cottons the one at target were cotton rayon blends with some spandex I think I always picture DVF in like an ITY personally um I don't know why I'm sure she uses like silk jersey or something I need to go into like somewhere where they sell her dresses and find out what the actual fabric is I wonder if I can go to dvf.com and figure that out okay TBD on all of this that's kind of coming to mind but yeah classic geometric print here is the women's, is there a women's version? I don't know. It only went up to 26, it said. Oh, I guess, I guess she looks like she could fit into a 26. 
Yeah, cute, 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 cute. Can't go wrong with these dresses, guys, really. Well, let me see if the arm side on this one's a little bit better, but they're kind of hiding it. It does look like it is wide. I always say this about the, uh, about the, these aren't plus sizes, but about the upper part of the size range. They're always so long in the shoulder. Like, I want hers to be, to stop right here, kind of. I don't want it to fall down. Like, here, this one looks different and better, right, than this one does. Oh, this is the OG. <laughs> OG 70s DBF pattern model. Okay. Wow, lots of photos for this one. Thank you for that. Coincidentally, the back of the arm side looks okay. Like, the width here looks really good. We just need to drop this down. And that would be fine. Again, the sleeved version, we're having all kinds of issues under here. Um just because it's too low. Now, I will say when you drop the length of the arm side, you're also going to make that hole bigger, which means the bell shape of your sleeve is going to have to change. Don't don't freak out about it. It it isn't hard. It is a little bit of work and confusing math, but you can get there. You can get there. I believe in you. <laughs> um Okay, lots of photos. Thank you. So many photos. This is great. Okay, here's the back. All right. So we read all this already. Fabric, stretchable knits such as cotton single knits, lightweight double knits, synthetic single knits, stretch gauge. I still wish they would put the percentage. Just put the percentage on here for us. Um, notions, only seam binding. Okay, and not, so there's no elastic in here. I'm assuming we're stay stitching, but maybe the seam binding is coming in here to help stabilize that as well. Um, kind of a lot of fabric. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, okay, the finished garment measurements are on here, but they don't have the body measurements. They did this last time. I, uh, yeah, there should be some negative ease in the bust positive in the waist, positive in the hip. So basing it off your upper bust, full bust is probably the best idea. I like that they're doing this. I like that they bring designer patterns. I remember like outside of Rachel Comey and the few that like Tom and Linda Platt, that you don't really see those in stores very much. I like the big name designer patterns. Those are just fun to collect, fun to sew. You know, they're just, I think it's cool. I think it's representative of the pattern designer appreciating what all of us are trying to do at home too, you know? I don't know. I feel like seen by Diane von Furstenberg. <laughs> hey girl. Okay, so this is the next pattern. It's a Vogue Mrs. Vest and Pants. Unlined, semi-fitted vest, has notch collar, extended shoulders, front extending to side back inside tie. What? Extended shoulders, front extending to side back. Front extending to side back. Okay. Inside tie, front D ring closure and welt pockets with flaps, high rise pants, semi fitted through hip, have contoured waistband, side front pockets, fly front zipper, hook and bar closure. Okay. So two things are happening here. One, sets are still very much a thing. Capris are coming back and vests are definitely a thing. So Considering this is Vogue, and Vogue is for like the sort of high-end, you know, boss ladies, Upper East Side, fancy pants people, um, or people that just like to dress like that. You don't actually have to live that way, but if you want to present that you live that way, that's what Vogue is to me. So I, I think this is cute for that person. Very on-trend uh, and stylish. I don't love the blue. I think it would be a million times better in black or white. Um, some more subtle color, because I think a lot is already happening here with the vest and the and the lapel and the pockets and the tie and then the short pant with the flare. You know what I mean? So the blue is already, it, the blue is a choice. Um, but I do think it could work in something a little bit more subtle. Thank you so much for showing us the top of the pant. It is a high-rise pant. 
but it doesn't sit at the natural waist. I think this is maybe one inch below. So it said it had a curved waistband. It shouldn't be super curved. It should be barely curved. Um, in fact, you'd probably be better off having a straight waistband than a curved one at this point, but that makes me a little bit nervous. But unless they show us the back, I'm not going to be able to tell like kind of what issues that might cause. Um, but the vest looks really good. They do have a long, it's almost like literally she took a blazer and chopped the arm off. You can imagine how the sleeve would attach right here and fall right down past her arm, her bicep. And they just, they kept that aspect of the wide shoulder, which I think is really nice. I think it adds to the kind of hourglass situation happening here. But yeah, we've got a welt pocket here, notch collar, not for the faint of heart uh darts right kind of fisheye darts through here and this welt flat pocket like she's a challenge she is an advanced pattern for sure pants wise yeah they look really good i do like this little straight angled kind of slash pocket i think that's really cute interesting small little detail there wide waistband hook and bar closure just clean fly finish um, there she is again. Okay, here's the back. Center back seam plus some princess seams. And are we going to, oh, yes. Okay, so the pants. All right, so yeah, there, you can see how much smaller this is than this here. Um, I don't really know. It looks good. It looks good. Typically, if you have a curved waistband, on a part of your body like if the waistband is too curved it'll dip and this is doing that a little bit dip and also gape open i can't really see from here if it's doing that but i think it looks good assuming that they haven't pinned anything in the front to kind of deceive us i think it looks fine so the curve on this one is appropriate for the placement on the body is my whole point Okay, then we've got one welt pocket in the back and not the other side. I don't know if you're kind of, if you're doing one, just go ahead and do the other maybe. Um, the fit through here looks pretty good on her. Um, so I, I mean, obviously everybody's having to adjust their crotch curves for their own body, but it does look good on her. Nothing kind of crazy off the wall in terms of like a bad drafting error. Yeah. Okay, great. So fabrics are like suiting fabrics. So gabardine, linen, silk blends, and tropical wools. So suiting and summer suitings are kind of where this is landing. Um, it is lined, but not fully. So it must just be the pocketing maybe. Yeah, just maybe the pocket bags. Did it say? Yeah, unlined. So I don't know about that, but it does make it lighter and easier to wear in the summer months. All right. And then again, finished garment measurements, but no body measurements. So you'd have to look at the envelope for that. Okay. The sizing though is six to 14 and 16 to 24. Okay. Great. up this is the Rachel Comey pattern I do typically love and adore the Rachel Comey patterns and I think I have a whole bunch of them I normally end up picking them up I think they're cool and chic and like my kind of girl you know like this is I could wear this I think they're calling it like the 24 7 dress the 24 7 sneaker the 24 7 whatever and that's what a lot of her clothes are you cannot tell where she's going like is she going to the office is she going to church? Is she going on a date? Is she going to brunch? You just, you have no idea where she's at. Um, and that's kind of, that's kind of my vibe, I think. Um, sizing is 6 to 14, 16 to 24 again. 
Loose fitting midi dress has asymmetric button front, short sleeves, drop waist seam, side front seams, back yoke. What was that? Drop waist side. Okay. Back yoke, skirt pleats, and side front pockets. Waist is adjustable via self ties coming from side front seams and concealed buttoned tab at waist. Okay. So we're picturing like a wrap dress here on the like asymmetrical are these like bulls and horses that's so cool so this is supposed to be a little bit angled is it also a hidden button placket can y'all i can't see buttons there but i can't zoom in anymore and then this is like a princess seam the sash comes out of here to the back and i think the other end of the sash is in the side seam and then also there's a giant pleat here. See what I mean? This stuff is like very cool and thoughtful, but like first looking at it, you just, it's very unassuming, but there is kind of a lot going on here. I think there's a pleat in the center back too. It's like designed, you know what I mean? It's not just, I don't know. There's like elements and mixed and matched stuff that just, I don't know, makes it really cool. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Now I haven't been loving garments that tie in the back lately i finding them very uncomfortable like sitting down but i could get over that for this <laughs> um okay i'm gonna look at this when it's bigger we're gonna go back and look but look at all these pleats in the back for sure shally charmeuse linen blends rayon crepe silk crepe de chine yeah all of your lightweight drapey to lightweight semi-stable fabrics are good for this i would also throw in like combinations of these like um like uh pop like rayon poplin um like stuff like that <laughs> i can't think of anything else off the top of my head um and then just your seven buttons okay let's go look at the okay so here's the one pleat on the side. So you sew this closed and then the pleat opens right here. Oh, you can see that both of the ends come from each side seam. We have a drop shoulder with a little baby sleeve. I wonder what this looks like without this sleeve on it. That could also be really cool. And then does this open wide like that on her? They didn't really give us like a good zoomed in. Oh, it does. So this has like the collar shape is like this for this one. And then this one comes like this. Again, also very just interesting. Interesting is the word. Interesting to sew, interesting to look at. But if you don't sew, you don't really know what you're looking at. I think it's cool. And then you can see three of the buttons and then the rest of these are hidden. I don't know. Anyways, then you have your, you know, yoked back with the pleat here, dropped waist, and then all these pleats in the back. Super cool, love it, love it, love it. Okay, another cute little dress. This is in-house designer, um, his name is Carlos. He's awesome, super nice and sweet. Um, and I'm excited to see what he has for us, this collection. This one is a fit and flare dress, close fitting through bust and waist has front cutout detail, bias ties, front wall pockets, invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure, and 5 8 inch narrow hems. Why are they telling us that? I don't know. Bias, bias ties, front wall pockets. Okay. And sizing 8 to 16 and 18 to 26. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's, a cutout for the Vogue woman, right? The Vogue woman is not going to have any under boob showing. She's not going to be showing too much skin. And the little baby cutout is going to be offset by a longer length, by this fuller sleeve. You know, it's not going to feel like so much skin is being revealed. Um, this little doodad here is very, very easy for you to achieve on your own. Literally, this is just like a casing. And this thing slips through it. Now, does it tie in the back? I'm, I'm assuming yes. Um, that's really interesting. Also, I love this little square sweetheart. Kind of rides up on her shoulder in the back. It might be a little bit long through here. 
maybe. But that also kind of looks pretty cool. I don't know. And then we have our sleeve starting. And I think the sleeve has some kind of shape to it or something too. Maybe in another picture we'll be able to see. But here it is in a print. I want to say this is also squared off, which is cool and unique. And then, I mean, a welt pocket and a drapey fabric. I don't know who you think you are, but that's like very extra. Um, you probably won't even see it. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. I do like this dress, but I don't know if I'm going to go that far on it. Yeah, a full on welt pocket inside of this. I want to look at the rest of the line drawings too, the style lines, because I know we have this here and it does look like something is happening here. Is this just like a paneled skirt? And if so, is the pocket anchored into that skirt? I would love to know that. So it's not flopping around. I hate floppy pockets. Here's hers. Let's look at the sleeve. Yeah, the sleeve definitely has something going on in there, right? To keep that shape. But it is really pretty and drapey. I'm assuming the sleeve is a big giant circle for the most part. Here's the back. Okay, cool. So it is tied. Um, and then seamed here. So princess seams here and through the back. And then this is where your invisible zipper is installed. You can see the little tab of it right there. Here is hers, the blue one. You can see the style lines a lot better on this one. Yeah, really, really pretty dress. It is going to be a fabric hog. Uh, oh yeah, so almost five yards of the largest size for VB, which has the sleeve, so it takes up the most fabric. Dress A is four yards. I don't know, maybe you'd be able to get away with three and a half, maybe, maybe. Um, crepe, linen blends, poplin, rayon chalet, and tinsel twill, all great options. The more stable your fabric is, the more of the volume will show. And the easier it'll be to sew these darn welt pockets. Why you wouldn't just put them in the side seam, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and... So tinsel twill would be a really great example of something that would kind of hold the shape and would create like the blue version had that very like billowy hem. It would create that. Whereas a rayon chalet would be the lighter weight one and fall closer in on your body and just be like a little bit drapier and softer. Can you see how much wider this one is? You know, the billowing effect of the hem here versus this one's a little bit less. That's the difference. Do they show the, yeah, they don't really show that squared off. It might not even be, it just looked like that to me. Another good one. I like this one too. Okay, now we've got some shorts and pants. Uh, 8 to 16, 18 to 26, sailor style shorts or pants. Fitted through hips, sit on natural waist, have front flap with button closure side front pockets, and back yoke with inseam details. View A has a stitched hem. View B has facings. Oh, okay. So, okay. Well, <laughs> interesting. So they've got a Chanel take on this one with the tweed and then like the raw hem. Again, very, very chic. This is sitting more on the high hip bone. So mid-rise, I'd say. Hands in pocket, so I can't really tell what's happening. It does look like this one's gaping a little bit, but she is kind of popping into this hip. Now, from what I can tell, the to get in and out of these, you unbutton this entire flap. This whole thing falls down, and then you have a zipper fly under there as well. So it's like a it's like a baby onesie diaper cover thing. What's the back look like? I don't hate them. This shiny material is not my favorite with the cheap white buttons. Like, let's see the tweed ones. Yeah, far more interesting there. Um, I do like the leg line on the, <clears throat> on the pant. Yeah, try and imagine this in like a normal denim, for example, or like a normal twill right? They could be cool. 
I need to see the back again. Okay, so the back is very plain. Oh, these are, the pockets are hidden in this seam. So very, very wide seam or wide uh, waistband. The pocket looks okay when she's standing up straight. Yeah, you can see the waistband is like two or two and a half inches deep probably, or I guess wide. That's really interesting. So I wonder if instead of having like a dart or something, the shape of this is what's giving the bum shape. I think it looks really good. It does look like she might be arching her back a little bit, which would change the shape of her bum and make it look a little bit, all of this would flatten out, but I cannot confirm that, but that, it kind of looks like that. Uh, yeah, okay, so denim, linen blends, medium weight denim, Mikado, silk tweed, and twill, and then notions are just those buttons. It is, it is interesting, unique, you know what I mean? Like, it could be like a 24-7 short, not in either of these fabrics, but I could see how you could dress this short up or dress it down depending on the fabric you used and how you styled it, obviously. I don't know. There could also be some really cute printed twills and stuff that could make this look really cool. I don't know. This might have to be, end up in my stash as well. What am I going to do? I don't think I've liked this many Vogue patterns in, a, in one collection in a long time. And this one's going to be no different. This, I'm adding this one already in my mind. Loose fitting flare tint dress has shaped yoke with lace trim and cut out armholes with bias facing. Dress has front and back gathers, side seam pockets, and length variations. 6 to 14, 16 to 24 on the size range. Okay. Okay. So you have like this little yokey bib thing and then all these gathers that come out from it. Also a center front seam. So you could turn this into a jumpsuit. That's what I see. Not that you couldn't do that if this didn't have a center front seam, but you'd have to add one. It's one more step. But this little mini version could be nightgowny, could go sleepwear, but I think they're pulling it off really well with the styling, making it not look so sleepy. It is a little basic for a Vogue pattern. Like I could see this being in Simplicity or McCall's or something and us having to pay way less for it. It's a little bit simple, but it is really stinking cute. Same thing. Okay, here's the back. Um, yeah, you're just making this like curved yoke thing and then adding trim to it and putting some gathers. But yeah, it's, this is really easy. So I hope it's a very easy Vogue pattern. I wonder if you did this like in a sheer, could, would your front show too much? Hold on. Oh no, not really. I mean, it would show some, but not, so if you did that in a sheer fabric, that could be cool. I don't know what, but yeah, hmm, interesting for Vogue. It almost feels like it was left over from somebody else and they were like, hey, let's just put this in the Vogue one. And my conspiracy theory, jaded, biased consumer mind is not going to let me think that they did that just so that they can make more money off of us. <laughs> but you think what you want to think. Okay, so fabrics are going to be stable, light to, you know, the light side of midweight. Broadcloth, chambray, cotton shirting, linen blends, poplin. This would be great for thrifted sheets. Um, it's a very blank canvas. You could do a lot of stuff with this. The notions are going to be three and a half yards of one and three quarter inch lace trim. This can be expensive for us to source because it's a little bit harder to find. So you're going to have to go to like a specialty notions store um, and order from them. You might be able to find something on Amazon, but the quality of it, you don't know. So this is 
a bit of a question mark. Um, fabric is easy to find. This stuff is when it starts to get a little bit tricky. And I don't know how common one and three quarter inch lace trim is. Chunky trim. It is really cute though. Does it even say very easy? This is average rating. I don't know what's average about that. Okay. All right. Now we have, what do we have? Okay. We're down here. Here's Marcy Tilton. I feel like after doing these videos and looking at book patterns for literally a decade, Marcy Tilton, I don't know how she's able to make things that look the exact same, but also completely different. <laughs> like. You can look at something and say, yep, that's Marcy Tilton. But you could also make an entire wardrobe of her stuff and everything would be different looking somehow. She's really talented in that way. Anyways, this is what I didn't even read the thing. I just got into the pictures. A-line tunic, fitted through bust, collar, button front, front inseam pockets, invisible hem. View A is sleeveless and has bias armhole facings. View B has elbow length sleeves with binding detail. Okay, so fitted through bust, collar, sleeveless or sleeved, button front up to here, and then it has those inseam pockets. The invisible hem um, is a nice detail. Yep, tunic length, which I'm just not a tunic girl. Man, they really went for this color this season, though, didn't they? Um... This would be like the most obvious way to style it, you know, a little pencil pant, um, a little maybe kitten heel type of thing. I don't know. Oh, geez, I keep doing that. Um, just not really my, I'm not there yet, you know, tunics and leggings or tunics and pencil pants. Like, I, I'm not there. Maybe one day, but, and then this is the back. So we have like a really, that collar is really tall. Um, center back seam or no, maybe no. There might not be one, which is kind of cool. Yeah, definitely not. Otherwise this print will be all broken up. So that's nice. That's a really nice detail that the back is cut on the fold. Yeah. Love that. Okay. So fabrics are Cotton flannel, cotton lawn, linen blends, rayon, shirting weight fabric, silk crepe to sheen. So yeah, anything lightweight, mostly structured would work for sure. Seven buttons or eight buttons, depending on the version that you're making. Okay. Then we have, oh boy. Okay. So Mrs. Shirt, crop top and pants. Okay, um, loose fitting shirt has shaped hem bands, back hem slit, pointed collar, collar band, long set in sleeves with button cuffs and placket opening. So basically a full on jacket, um, close fit lined top, fully interfaced, <laughs> has straps and exposed separating back zipper and wide leg pants, semi fitted through hip, have side front pockets, fly front and belt carriers. Okay. Who signed off on this? Like, this person is not this person. And is the intent that you're supposed to wear this under this? Because th what's the point? You're going to get hot and take this off and then be in this? Like, everyone's going to be, like, doing double takes. Like, wasn't she just fully covered head to toe and now she's out at the most? It's just kind of strange. I mean, it is a cropped crop top, top. It's not even trying to be like mid crop. Like, who are these two people? This is like, this is like a daughter in college and her mom or grandma or not one of her friends. I don't understand this at all. I'm very confused. The pant is nice. Nice little trouser. I mean, and the jacket, for what it's worth, is okay. Again, not, I don't love the, the shape of it and the style of it, but, and then this, who is wearing this? Who is, from Vogue, of all, remember that earlier when I was talking to you about, like, the Vogue woman? Where is she going? 
strange. It, you can tell. She's like, I'm so confused. What's happening? She's like, I feel cute. Thank God they took that ugly jacket off. <laughs> weird. Weird, weird, weird. Yeah, the jacket's not getting any cooler. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling it. I had hoped maybe the back would help. I, this, this ain't it. Okay. Well, I'm glad that there's like a humbling pattern in all of this because I was starting to just wanting to collect all of them. So I can finally for sure say no to one of them. And that's going to be this one. The pant uh, back though, there's some issues going on here. Way too much fabric. Way, way, way too much fabric. Which makes me think that the other photos of her like this, they're just too big. Which is fine. Like an oversized slouchy pant is cool, but it still needs to be fitted through the crotch. And you can tell that it's not here. Which also makes me wonder, is it even supposed to sit this low or is it supposed to be higher up on her waist? In which case the crop wouldn't crop so much. It'd at least be hiding her belly button still though. I have no idea. Yeah, no clue. Um, okay, so this is Linen Blend's Heavy Satin Jacquard and Shantung. And then the pants you can also make in a midweight crepe or twill. The crop top and pants can also, oh, they're lined. Broadcloth, cotton canvas, cotton twill. Uh, yeah, the whole, this whole thing is really, really just very confusing to me. Like the line drawings of the jacket, I can see where they were going, right? Trying to make it like a take on like a shirt, like a shacket that's cooler. Maybe the fabrication is where they went wrong on that. Because the line drawing does look better than the execution, which looks like this. So maybe the, when they went to try and make it fancy, also, is it supposed to be drop shoulder? I have to double check because I was noticing the sleeve looked really long also. So maybe the fit is off on that and also the fabrication is not great. Yeah, it's not supposed to be a drop shoulder. So yeah, just a lot bad happening with this one. Like one out of 10, do not recommend. This is a lot of things are, you'd have to fix with this. Okay, here's another Rachel Comey pattern. I love that we're getting two now. Thank you for that. Zip front jumpsuit has close fitting bodice with princess seams and is attached to a loose fitting bottom with mock fly front stitching and drawstrings at front and ankle. Jumpsuit has side front seam pockets and patch pockets with flaps on the back. Okay. 6 to 14, 16 to 24. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I don't know what I was imagining, but it wasn't this. So corset type of top, right? You even have like the boning in here. Zip front. Interesting little V-neck take on a sweetheart. Nice thick straps. With like, is that a ruffle? It does feel ruffly. Like, I think what's happening is where this is attached to the pant is where the casing is. So if you draw in the pant, you're also drawing in this part of the top. But are these two different fabrics? This is like looking like, I don't know, velvet or corduroy. And this is looking like something much lighter weight. Front pockets, back patch pockets. Kind of like a, not, not a drop crotch, but like a slouchy vibe. But the back fits really well through the crotch. And then drawstring ties on the ankle. Really very interesting. I love that they put her in a lower heel. That feels very wearable. I don't know about all the straps and straps and straps. But this is... Like I said, I typically really like Rachel Comey's designs. This, I do like this. This would be a bit of a stretch for my wardrobe. Yeah, it is two different fabrics. But in a way that gives me, it gets me kind of excited. I don't know. This feels different enough that I would try it. And the risk would be 
would I actually wear it? Like, would I grab it to wear it? I think so. I think so. Especially if you did it in something a little, mm, not more wearable than what the, the model version was, but imagine it in like a heavier weight denim and then a chambray. That would be like an easy way to imagine yourself wearing that. Um, or like a linen-y type of thing and then maybe canvas on top. I don't know. Twill on top. Maybe it's this color that's making me feel like this eggplant color makes it feel a little bit more evening. But then the shoes make it feel more day. So yeah, I think the color could be different. You know, you can also go look at Rachel Comey's website and find these designs because they're not super old and see how she styled them and get even more ideas. I don't know. This one's very intriguing to me. So for the jumpsuit, medium to heavyweight fabric such as cotton canvas, denim, twill, and then the pants in lightweight to medium weight fabric such as broadcloth, chambray, and poplin. For sure. I also kind of wonder if you could do this in a knit. Like imagine it in like, I don't know, French terry or even sweatshirting or I don't know. Then you'd have like really comfortable pants and a very uncomfortable top. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm sure the top is fine comfort wise. It's not actually boned. It just has those seams, which also makes it a little bit more approachable, I think. You need one 18 inch zipper two buttons I don't even know oh those go on the back um and then a yard of elastic to put in here I, I'm I'm kind of digging it you guys for sure it's cool okay so now we've got this little blouse Mrs. Blouse this is 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 on the size range Button front blouses have pointed collar, neck band, set in sleeves, front and back yoke, and shaped hem. View A has 7 8 inch sleeves with elastic casing and single edge scallop lace trim. View B has long sleeves with placket opening and button cuffs. Okay, so this is not the fabric. This is sewn in here intentionally. Same with this. This makes this top fully see-through right through here. Not the end of the world. Could be really cool if you did it in an interesting way. But this trim doesn't have to be lace. It doesn't have to be eyelet. It could be sheer. You know, it could be mesh. It could be something else. Um, but I do think that the idea of this having like the see-through parts is really cool. And also really comfortable for summer. You can get away with wearing long sleeves if they're basically fully air conditioned. And then this feels like every other button down shirt we always see. This one, this is the winner. And then they were like, okay, let's give them one where it's not see through. Okay, fine. So yeah, it's cool. It's really cool. Fun and interesting. So much fun with all this. So much detail. Let's see the back. Let's see the back. Okay. So the back even has some of the trim. I don't know if that feels like if every other part of the trim is sheer and then you just threw this one on there and that might, I don't know if I love that. It would be cooler if this were also sheer, but they didn't do it that way. So yeah, it is kind of a twofer. You know, you get a basic button front and then you get one that's not so basic. Um, fabrics, broadcloth, lightweight linen, PK. PK, really? Sateen, really? And twill, really? No. 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 <laughs> Just no. Um, broadcloth, okay. Shirting, like why isn't that mentioned? Chambray, why isn't that mentioned? PK and sateen and twill feel way too heavyweight for this to me, especially for summer. Six buttons and then all this lace trim and elastic. 
So save some money on your fabric, get something relatively inexpensive, and then use the rest of your budget to buy all the trimmings. Okay, Mrs. Skirt in two lengths. Wow, okay. Draped, bias cut skirt, has narrow waistband, invisible side zipper with hook and bar closure, baby hems and length variations, four to 12 and then 12 to 20. So the smallest of the Mrs. sizes in this one. So this is the narrow waistband. I think it's just a bias cut skirt. And then they added on this thing. But maybe it's sewn in. No, it's definitely different pieces. I think that you can see with the striped one, because the green stripe goes here, but doesn't continue this way. Same thing with this little light green strip. It goes here and then it comes back this way. So there must be like a center front seam and then some kind of seam in here too. Huh. It is kind of cool with just like a basic T, maybe not a crop, but basic T. Hmm. Yeah, I don't love the maxi version in this satin fabric. It just feels really wide. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's laying correctly. It makes her look bigger than she is, I think. And I don't think this is what's doing it. I think it's something about, well, she is popping her hip. I don't know. Do we get more poses? See how drapey this one is? That's, if the silver one did that, it could be better. Oh, okay. Well, that is like fully in your butt crack. Um, <laughs> hmm, I don't know about that. The drapiness of this does hit better. Like this is kind of giving, I don't know, what would that look like with someone that has like a bubble butt? This is like a circle skirt that begins on almost the apex of your butt. That's a lot. Um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's hitting at the natural waist. This looks pretty cool. I guess you could shorten it like right through here by like an inch or something. And then that would make this also shorter. Do we see the back of the brown one? Yeah. No, that's really not that much better. Hmm. Yeah, I think that I'm trying too hard to like this one because it is unique, right? I think the right fabric, the right body type, like this one, if I saw this girl here on the street or at Target or anywhere, I'd be like, damn, she's so cool. Love her outfit. She looks super chic. I can't imagine myself in it. I can't imagine myself reaching for that and being like, yeah, I'm going to wear that butt crack skirt today. <laughs> The dental floss skirt. <laughs> um, crepe, crepe back satin linen blends rayon chalet. Yeah, the silver one being like, you know, kind of like thinking about weddings and stuff. I get it. I get where they're going with it. I, I'm not mad at it. I just don't think it's for me. Okay. And I do love a bias cut just about anything. So that does have that going for it. Um, next we have unisex shirt and pants. Semi-fitted shirts have stand-up collars, fitted <laughs> shoulders, concealed front button closure. It's a button front shirt, guys. View A has below elbow sleeves. Button cuffs, continuous lap opening. View B has two-piece long sleeve. I mean, how many unisex versions of this are we going to get? Like, you get a little mock collar concealed. It does, it does feel a little bit more elevated than some of the other unisex button front shirts that we've seen. Um, it's also kind of giving clergy vibes, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know. It's cooler than some. I can see some of our sewing dudes, dudes in the sewing community online, making this and looking really cool. So I'll give them that. But I guess the argument here is, do we need to make more unisex patterns or do we just need to make more menswear? Like, are we trying 
are we calling it unisex and trying to put it on a woman and a man just to like broaden the pool of people that would want to buy it? Because for the most part, when I see a unisex garment, it only looks good on one of them. It doesn't usually look good on both of them. And a woman sewer is already going to have a button front shirt, maybe even a concealed button placket version. She's already going to have one of those in her stash. So why is she going to buy this one over another one? So then it really is just menswear. And you know what I mean? Like, and in which case, if we can just, if we can just let go of unisex and just make menswear, then we can like make things for the guys that are cooler than another button front shirt. Do you get my point? Thanks for coming to my TED talk on that. We'll just keep this moving. Oh, you get the pants too? Wait, unisex? He is wearing the same pants as her. This is a whole other problem. Look at this. You know what that is? That's ease in the front for his parts and where she doesn't have any parts. Unisex pants don't don't work on a man and a woman unless they are like drop crotch or sweatpants or very very baggy it's just strange this one photo looks decent because she's got her hands in her pockets and she's spreading out all of that extra fabric there but you can see when she forgets in her pose to <laughs> fix that she's got room you don't need room there this should just be a menswear pattern and that should be that. I can't even imagine what this looks like on his bum. And then also what, oh, alphanumeric sizing, naturally. In men's sizing, 34 to 52. No woman is going to buy this pattern. So let's just call it menswear and start giving the guys some cool stuff. Okay. Lightweight denim, linen blends, tinsel, twill, tropical wool. Yes, agree with all of that. There is some lining, I think, for the pockets and stuff. Yeah, strange. Oh, I do like this little line that they're putting on here, though, to show you where the waist is. That's a nice touch. They don't always do that, I don't think. Okay, now I think we, we started off strong and we're, like, fading a little bit as we go, which is fine. My wallet will be happy. Lined skirt, semi fitted through hips, it's one inch below waist and has a fly front zipper, side front pockets, back welt pockets, belt loops, front slit, and front and back pin tuck detail. 8 to 16, 18 to 26. Okay, one inch below the waist. Um, okay, might be a little slouchy on her. I think this is probably more one inch below the waist. This is the pin tuck detail I think that they're talking about. This is really cool. This does look really good on her. They've they've taken something that can look very um matronly, secretarial type of vibe and made it cool for like the weekend. Made it even borderline chic. Like I can see her like going shopping in this. Um it is a very long skirt because she's probably very tall and she's in two, three inch heels and it's still hitting the floor. So very long, long skirt. This midi length is cute. You couldn't really go much shorter unless you just chopped it off and kept this little opening where it's at. Yeah, I. Mm, they did a good job styling these. You know what I mean? That's what's making it more appealing. But I'm not a high heel stiletto girl, so it'd have to work with some block heels or kitten heels, which I do have, and I think it could work. This one I feel like is, is falling down. It's too big on her, and it's falling lower than it should, and that is also making it look longer than it should. Here's the back. Yeah, the back fits great. Pen tuck detail going right through this welt pocket. Yeah, I think it looks great. The fabrication is really good too. Yeah, this is her waist right here. This is easily three inches too low on her. 
So I don't think I don't think it was intended to be floor length. I think it was intended to be maxi. Um, but it did look kind of cool as a floor length. Gabardine linen blends, medium weight denim, sateen and twill. Yeah, kind of all your bottom weights there. Oh yeah, there's that little dotted line again. Love that. Um and then zipper, button, and hook and bar. Yeah. Now I imagine we don't have the measurements, but I imagine because it said that it was fitted, semi fitted through hip. So semi fitted is usually like when it comes to bottoms, two inches of ease, three inches of ease, maybe not much more than that. So it is a pencil skirt. Um, if you're someone like me that has a, a much wider hip than waist, you're going to get, you know, that pear shape, you're going to get a much more pronounced curve here, but it should still come straight down off your body from here and then curve in. So they don't always, pencil skirts don't always look the same on pear shapes as they do other body types. Okay, vintage patterns. These look exciting. Uh, Mrs. Dress in two lengths. Uh, vintage Vogue 1970s one piece evening dress. A line dress above knee or evening length has front bodice and back extension gathered into bracelet ring at center front. Elasticized waist and self sash. Okay. Cool. Yeah, all this is gathered up into this bracelet ring and then it comes down off the back. We'll look at the back in a second. Look at her super cool bracelet though. Elastic in the waist and there's also this big sash. The back, the back. Oh, so it just comes. This is the front, wraps around to the back and then there's just a zipper in the back. That's not nearly as special as I thought it was going to be. Very 70s bodice though. Soft fabric such as crepe, double knit, georgette, lightweight wool, satin crepe, silk linen, Syrah, and synthetic knits. So, yeah, I think they're going for, what are the notions? Zipper, hook and eye, seam binding, one yard of elastic and bangle bracelet. It's hard to tell from just like a drawing, but I do think they're going for lighter weight lighter weight fabrics maybe lighter weight with a little bit of structure too yeah yeah lightweight but with a little bit of structure so not your rayon chalice not your rayon poplins but like twill blends cotton rayon blends um th things of that nature lightweight but structured Okay, now we've got a jumpsuit, 1970s one piece, elasticized high waist jumpsuit in evening or mini length, has off the shoulder elasticized neckline, full, full length sleeves, have elasticized wrist. Wow. It's like a play, it's like a baby doll play suit with long, I need this. I need, I need this immediately. Okay. So I, I mean, it, it can, this one looks a little bit like she's going to bed. I'll give her that. I think the pastel colors, maybe this patchwork version is a dream. I love that it's off the shoulder kinda. And of course I love the shorts version. And gosh, this has got to be one of the most comfortable things you can possibly ever wear. Yes, this is a yes, 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 yes. Soft or crisp fabrics, such as, and I think this is referring to stability, drapey or stable, such as Batiste, broadcloth, crepe. These are structured. This is drapey, jersey's drapey, lace is drapey. Lame is structured, I think. Shears, Silk Syrah, Voile. Yeah, I guess I'm picturing it in definitely a print. 
Definitely, yeah, somewhere between soft and staple, or soft and crisp. Because the sleeve, I mean, it's the more crisp or stable it is, the, the wider this is going to appear. And the more this is going to stand away from the body. The drapier ones are going to fall in. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to think about fabric a lot on this one. I'm sure you could Google baby doll romper <laughs> and hope you don't get actual doll clothes um, and see if you can find some that are currently for sale to inspire you fabric wise. Um, okay, now we have this Mrs. Dress and Overdress flare. Oh boy, flared, close fitting through bust. Sorry, flared dress, close fitting through bust, has bias neck and armhole facings, bust and waist darts, invisible back zipper and hook and eye closure, purchase scallop trim, lace trim, fitted A-line overdress, has low armholes, neck, armhole and hem binding, bias loops and button closure on back. Okay, so it's this underneath this why my question is why this looks like a wedding dress right and when you I guess this is like mashed that they put on top it almost looks like she's wearing an apron or something and she doesn't want to get it dirty it feels like you're supposed to take this off like you're not supposed to wear this this out we need we need more options with other fabrics to help envision what this is supposed to be. What are the line drawings? That's not really helping. I don't, yeah, I'm at a complete loss. I'm even, I'm, I, my trick of always picturing it in denim, like when I'm, when I'm getting confused by the fabrication, I just picture it in denim. Okay, fine. So if you made this in chambray and then you made this in Lace even? Uh, what goes with denim? Denim and lace, right? I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't I don't understand the point of just putting another sheer layer on. Like I get the idea of a cardigan because you know it provides more coverage or it's a little bit warmer, you know, any of that kind of stuff, but this is this is pointless. Unless it's just to be excessive, you know, like, look at me layering with things that don't matter. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. Doesn't it look like it's like a cover up? Like, don't want to get your wedding dress dirty. Here, here, sweetie, put this on. So, you know, you don't drop anything on it. That's what it, that's what I'm getting. It is a pretty wedding dress, though. Yeah. Maybe that is what it is. Maybe it is a little apron uh let's see crepe lace and silk and then b is chiffon and organza it's supposed to be sheer interesting what do they call it overdress yeah i don't know i don't understand if you if you remember this is like a callback to something back in the day that was very popular you remember or you have just a clear vision on what this is intended for please chime in in the comments always willing to learn something new, but this, that's, I don't understand that. Okay, look, we've got a Badgley Mishka. When's the last time we had one of those? Dress, close fitting through bust, has see-through bodice, split front band, long set in sleeves with a continuous lap opening, cuffs with button and loops, contrast under bodice, has spaghetti straps, meaning like a little tank top, Lined flare skirt attaches at midriff, has baby hem, contrast sash included. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is very, um, this is supposed to be like an evening, evening wear. I can see somebody wearing this on like a daytime red carpet or just like a more casual event in general, maybe depending on the lace that you chose, it could be fully evening. Um, this isn't just like, I'm going to go run some errands. I'm going to go to Target. This is like 
nighttime. When I think of it in that context, it is pretty cool. I, I don't love the contrast bow, which I can't believe I'm saying those words out loud. I, mm, I don't love it, but maybe I like the bow, but not in the contrast, or maybe I just don't like that stripe. It just, it's, it's a lot, right? We've got like the lace that's sheer. So then we've got the little tank underneath, right? That's already drawing your eye. And then this is another thing that my eye is like going right in on. And then this print and the volume of the skirt is also another element that I'm just like zeroing in on. So from far away, my eyes are like, they don't know where to go. So imagine if it were this little lacy thing in white or black, and then all of this were also black, right? It'd be a little less fun, but also a little less chaotic. Uh, it, but it would be really fun to wear. I, I obviously have nowhere to go in any of this, but um, it is cool. And it is, you know, a very couture high-end designer. So yeah, I guess if I were going to like a red carpet or like a ball or something of all the evening wear that we see come from Vogue, this is more my speed than anything else. I would just change up the fabric, <coughs> excuse me, the fabrication a little bit. So embroidered lace, this is for the top, embroidered lace, novelty shears. Uh, for the skirt, no, for the tank top, charmeuse and china silk and crepe de chine. For the skirt and belt, heavy satin, Mikado, and taffeta. I think this could do well for them. I think there are enough people out there who would think that that was really cool. I'm trying to picture like not red carpet and not New York City. I don't know why I always put Vogue women in New York City, but imagine like another really wealthy city, like somewhere in Texas, right? Imagine like a rodeo ball some some charity event for like whatever they do in Texas. I don't know. You know what I mean? Something along those lines. This could go over well. Right? That's okay. So, if you live in Texas, there you go. Okay. Next. This one is a Mrs. dress in two lengths. Smallest size range, close fitting, underlined underlined and lined that's three layers has neck facings bias sleeve bands round neck in front v back and short sleeves trumpet bottom invisible back zipper with hook and eye and closure hook and eye closure and sewn what i cannot read him sewn by hand okay 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 so yeah all right this is a empire waist dress, some pleats here for the fullness of the bust, center front seam, and a grown on sleeve. Then we have the skirt with princess seams that flare at the bottom to give you that trumpet. I absolutely abhor this fabric. This is just not good. I don't know. I get that it's trying to be like dressier, but maybe like it does, these don't go together. You know, this could be a little bit maybe drapier and that would help. The print helps. The print gives it like, you know, ladies who lunch kind of vibes. I want to see the back, the V back. Okay. So there's your V back. Again, in a really like thick fabric. And again, remember, it's underlined and lined. So... That makes me think, oh, okay, then I would use an eyelet for the outer fabric, underline it in some kind of like batiste, and then line it in lining fabric. Then you'd have like a summery, lightweight version of this. This heaviness is what's kind of throwing me off. Yeah. It just doesn't feel... Yeah, okay, so for, I mean, I don't know. Now that I'm seeing the back of this, I'm kind of digging it. Maybe I just don't like the color. Maybe if it were in, like, cream, I would like it more. Or as, like, a wedding dress, it could be cool. Like, imagine if your wedding was, like, a little bit more casual and you wanted a sleeved 
grown on sleeve wedding dress. I don't know. It could be kind of cool. Do the line drawings help? Yeah, I mean, a little bit. Again, it feels like this and this shouldn't be together. It's not wrong. It's just not totally not wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I think it comes down to fabrication that they chose. And also just kind of like imagining yourself in something like this is not for me. Like I can't picture myself in that. But if you have a different lifestyle than me, then you're probably like, yeah, that's so cool. That's so unique. I love that. That's so fun. In which case I would be here for you to make this. I would, I would fully support that. Just not, it's not for me. It's not for me. Okay. So look at these fabrics. Brocade, four ply silk crepe, lace mikado and silk tweed so they're definitely going for thicker more structured fabrics underlining in batiste or organza and then lining and lining fabric hmm. maybe it would be a wedding dress because if you have the lace i just can't imagine a layer of brocade a layer of batiste like why why do you need both I don't understand that. And then also lining it. I get the lining part. I just don't, I don't get like why you need two layers unless it's see-through. Very, very, very Vogue though. Like Vogue just is very extra like that sometimes. Okay, now we've got a Tom and Linda Platt dress. I've made Tom and Linda Platt before. I do like their stuff. Um, this one is really cute too. Line dress fitted through bust has cut in shoulders and stand collar with corded piping detail. Front pleat and invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure and invisible hem. Smallest of the size range. If I were going to a wedding this year and like weren't in it, <laughs> I would make something like this for sure. I love a little sheath dress. Um, I love this little like kind of off center pleated thing. And then the piping detail is in the collar. Can you see here? The cut in shoulder with the stand collar is very just, I don't know, flattering. I feel like very kind of feminine. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. Simple, but with a twist, basic with a twist is what I am drawn to the most. Yeah. Very simple in the back. Yeah, it does lend itself to a dressier event. I don't know why I think that. Maybe if it were shorter and in a different fabric, I could like throw it on with sneakers. But to me, it's like a cocktail dress for sure. A good one. A good cocktail dress. Lined dress fitted through bust has cut in shoulders, stand collar with corded piping detail, front pleat and invisible back zipper with hook and eye closure and invisible him. Already read that. Okay. Fabrics, crepe back satin, jacquard, linen blends, and silk crepe. <laughs> Lining, charmeuse, china silk, and crepe de chine. Is the whole thing lined? Yes. Fully lined. That's a great little dress. You can get away with making it out of like a poly satin, you know, if it's lined too, and you have those two layers adding like to the structure of like two lightweights make a structured fabric. Um, I could also kind of see it in like a, did they say tweed? Cause I could also see it in like a, a Chanel type of tweed, uh, tweed as well. That one's really cute. Okay. And then our last one here is going to be a swim suit and sarong. Okay. Vogue swimwear. That's how do you make bougie swimwear? We're about to find out. Lined bikini top has halter ties, back side release buckle and o-ring in front lined low rise bikini bottom has o-rings on sides ruffle hem sarong skirt ties to the side okay um she's like absolutely not get me out of here this is uh not 
Vogue's best work. If they would have included this with like a McCall's, I'd be looking at it under a completely different lens. But this doesn't feel elegant or elevated like at all. It looks kind of cheap to me. Like the fit of it and like the construction of it. I don't know. Like did they reference any swimsuits at all? This like bandeau style? I don't know. It's not the cutest. And this skirt is just too structured of a fabric maybe. Maybe they should have used a sheer fabric. And then the bikini bottom's fine. It's fine, right? It's not Vogue. It's fine. And Vogue is not usually fine. This is the buckle. It's like a full on like, like, like a uh, utility bag buckle. That's just strange. The fit on the, on the bottoms is good. But then this is just tied off. I don't know. It just feels, I don't know. It doesn't feel right. That skirt is, I can't with the skirt. And the print maybe, I don't even know. She looks nine years old. Like that's a skirt for a nine year old. Yeah, yeah, hmm, I don't know. I, people will probably buy it just because they're interested in swimwear, but there's a lot of better stuff going on in swimwear world in indie patterns for sure. Swimwear fabric with four-way stretch, broadcloth, poplin and sateen for the skirt that's where they went wrong this needs to be sheer lightweight rayon something this is this is not it <laughs> and then swimwear lining alphanumeric sizing on this one too i don't know it had what did it did it have like cups or like what are the notions swimwear elastic O-rings and a side release buck a uh, side release buckle and a pair of cup inserts. So it is and they did put some cups in there at least. I don't know. I, I don't uh I really want to like it. I don't know why. There's like way better swimsuits. It's just average. I think that's the thing. Like if I weren't walk looking at a Vogue collection, I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, it's cute. But because it's Vogue, I like put on this like tiara <laughs> I put on like a crown and I be I put myself in a separate headset than some of the other patterns but okay so a mixed bag I mean there are 20 patterns there's a big collection um so that said I think that there's some really great stuff here the Rachel Comey stuff is awesome in-house wise like I really liked this one I think the shorts could be cool this is decent, although a little bit basic for Vogue. Here's the other Rachel Comey one that I loved. Um, we started to fall off the rails a little bit through here. This one was great. So yeah, a good mixed bag, which is a successful collection to me. I'm not supposed to love everything. Um, that's how they're going to find the most mass appeal. They're going to appeal to me. They're going to appeal to like all kinds of different lifestyles. So I thought it was really good. I, I'm, I'm very pleased. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comment section below and I will be back very soon because as you see, we have a lot of new patterns to cover. So that'll do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.